What's going on YouTube to back with another video today as the title suggests we're going to be working on my 2009 MacBook Pro now This thing has been neglecting over the past few months. Um <laughs> Unfortunately, this has not been working right. Um, this is my college laptop. I use this for college uh, taking notes uh, writing papers things like that nature um, And it hasn't been working right. So what's been wrong with it? I've been using the SSD out of it if I can show you Right here, there's an SSD in it, and I've been actually using that to test in my Mac Pro when I've been trying to install Windows on it. So, it has been messed up ever since then, and um, even before then it was acting kind of funny. So, I'm going to go ahead and give you a rundown of the setup of the MacBook Pro. It has 4 gigs of RAM, a 2.66 gigahertz uh, Intel Core 2 Duo, a 120 gig SSD for the boot drive, and it is currently running uh, Mac OS 10.12.6, and a, I think that's a 320 gigabyte, uh, 5400 RPM hard disk. And I'm not sure if that works or not, but we will find out in this video. So, let's go ahead and flip it over and boot it up. Put the cover back on it. Alright, get it in frame. Move you guys up a little bit. Here we go. Let's see what it does. Alright, so at least it booted. Looks like it's booting into Mac OS Sierra. And last time I booted this thing, the keyboard didn't actually work, so we'll see what happens this time. Alright, and as you can see, nothing's working. I am pressing down the trackpad, if I can see you. Nothing's working. Um, yeah. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to create a macOS High Sierra bootable USB drive so I can install macOS High Sierra on here. So I'm going to go ahead and shut this down. And uh, I'll come back to you when the boot drive is done. So while the boot drive is finishing, I just want to give you guys some background on this MacBook Pro. So uh, I originally bought this thing just to be a school laptop, something I could bring around with me to school. It has a nice big screen that has a decent processor, decent amount of RAM. Um, and I just needed something to uh, take notes with and write papers with and have something I can take on the go. Also, I wanted this thing to be able to, you know, do some light gaming, you know, some uh, World of Tanks and stuff like that. But what has been wrong with this thing is it's been giving me pop-ups. Uh, it needs a clean install of Mac OS. I'm pretty sure it has some kind of malware on it. Um, or some sort. I wish I could show you guys, but the keyboard and trackpad aren't working due to a, uh, I think I re reset the NVRAM and it didn't work well. I, I don't know what's wrong with it, but we're going to be uh, slowly, slowly getting this thing back up and running. We're going to be throwing uh, four more gigs of RAM in it in a different part of this video. Uh, we're going to be probably in installing another SSD or another uh, larger hard drive. And yeah, I just wanted to go over the plans of this MacBook Pro with you guys before we actually started uh, digging into it. And one more thing, I also wanted to show you guys, even um, in the boot menu, I can hold down option key and the trackpad does work. So it's obviously something wrong with the install of Sierra. Uh, I'm pretty sure when I put it this SSD into my Mac Pro, when I was trying to uh, troubleshoot, trying to get Windows 10 on there, it had issues. And as you can see, trackpad works, keyboard works, so it is something wrong with the uh, installation of Mac OS Sierra on the MacBook Pro. Try to get into recovery, doesn't work. And mainly because this system is an unsupported Mac, and uh, if you want me to, leave, if you want me to do a separate video on uh, how to install Mac OS High Sierra on an unsupported Mac, just let me know in the comments. And, but uh, this is mostly just focusing on trying to get this thing back working. All right, so here's an idea of what I am doing. Uh, this is DOS Dude One's uh, Mac OS High Sierra patcher I got from his website. So. He has a video up on his channel, I'll link it in the description below. But um just waiting on this to finish copying and patching files so we can go ahead and get on with the install on the MacBook Pro. 
Alright guys, so I was just editing this video, and I don't think I made it very clear. Um, the reason I have to use the patcher is because the MacBook Pro 2009 is not supported uh, for Mac OS High Sierra. It is only supported for, I think, up to El Capitan, and that's it. So I wanted to make that clear that I, I need to use the Mac OS High Sierra patcher to get this MacBook Pro back up and running. Alright everyone, so we are back at the MacBook Pro. I have the USB drive right here, ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and pop it in right here. And hold down the option key so we can boot from that. Alright, going to go ahead and slide on over to Mac OS X base system. And that should boot into Mac OS High Sierra installer. So I will come back to you when that boots because I know that's going to take a long time. Alright guys, so we're back. Let me go ahead and move the computer a little bit closer. So you guys can see. And here we are in the Mac OS High Sierra um, utility. So let's go ahead and click select English. I'm going to and go to disk utility. I can't talk. All right, and that's the drive. And I guess the drive is working. The hard drive that I said may or may not be working is working. So that's always good to know. And we're going to go ahead and erase the SSD. It's extended. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go with extended. I'm not going to mess with the APFS for right now. I will do a video on that later maybe. Maybe not. Go ahead and create that drive. Alright, and that's done. And so we can go ahead and continue with the installation of macOS. Go ahead and click continue. Agree. Uh, we're going to install on the SSD. And that is going to install. So it's about 12 minutes remaining. And I will come back to you once that is done. The install just finished. Get the angle good. Yeah, install just finished. I am going ahead and going to hold down the option key and boot up. So we can patch the boot disk. Any second now. I'm going to run back into the installer and patch the boot disk, and I'll come back to you once we are back at the login screen for High Sierra on the actual disk. All right, so now what I have to do is go ahead and enter the macOS post install utility. And I'm going to select the model MacBook Pro 5.2. Yep, and make sure all the ones are patched that I need to have. Looks good to me. Ethernet, I don't need that. Light volume control, it's that. Okay, nope, don't need that. Select the volume, it's SSD, and patch. And I'm going to reboot that. It's going to rebuild the cache, and once that's done, we should have a fully running install of Mac OS High Sierra. So let's wait for it to finish. Okay, finally at the screen, we can go ahead and set everything up. I don't need to set up a network right now. Set that up later. All right, don't transfer any information. Agree to the terms and condition. Um, I'm going to go ahead and set my name up, I guess. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Don't need a password right now. You have to have a password? I guess I'll just put, uh, mm. All right, don't need a hint, do we? Nope. Don't know how, how well you guys can see that, but uh, just putting in my information. Express setup is fine. Don't really mind any of that stuff. And setting up our Mac. Mac. And I get the beach ball. 
Yep, there we go. MacBook High Sierra is up and running on the MacBook Pro. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, that's pretty much all I had for today. This is the first installment of the video, and I know it wasn't as exciting as the other videos are, but um, we got plenty coming for this MacBook Pro. We're going to get another SSD, going to get another uh, 4 gigs of RAM installed, so it's going to be good. Uh, stay tuned to the channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.